What's up guys? I have been meaning to make this video for a while, but I was kind of waiting for the perfect opportunity where we actually do it so that I can show it to you in practice. But if you have seen my streams or my live arena videos, I have been mentioning it for a while that I think clan hopping for Hydra is insanely good thing and more people should do it. It would make the game a lot more chiller and you will get more rewards if you did it and it's not very common knowledge that you can even do this and I definitely wanted to make a video there's definitely no other videos out there talking about it so I kind of wanted to make a guide about it I would um, I would even advertise it this way that right now I'm in my own clan we've had it for like six months or something like that and I'm literally getting more stone skin accessories in my own clan than I was getting in MAD and that might sound unbelievable and it's not because I'm putting more effort on Hydra the entire point of my clan for me personally because you know it's my clan I wanted to make it in my liking is that we have people that are interested in PvP but we don't set requirements as far as like how much points you need to do in Hydra's, Hydra class or normal CVC or how much player power you need to have and so on. We wanted to have a group of like-minded people that care about PvP and we don't really like, you know, the bar is how mu not how much money you spend in the game and so on. Obviously, you know, it's RNG and money and everything. But basically what we do in my clan is that every three months or so, and you might do this a little bit more often if you don't put out as much point as we do but every three months or so we basically switch clan and we have two clans so right now you might have noticed that I'm not on my own account I'm on a clan mate's account just to help him out but I I'll show how we, how we do this in practice and I'll also get into my own account let's let's first take the clan boss loot for him before we leave but basically we have been in our second clan for three months and now it's time to switch to the other clan and what happens when we switch the clan is that let's quickly collect the hydra loot and we this takes a little bit organizing as you can see we have timed it in the way that there's only a small window like one or two hours where hydra class has ended and the next one starts in 40 minutes and i just was able to collect the normal hydro loot and now we're gonna switch clan and what switching the clan does is that now um there we go we switch from arena enjoyers to another arena enjoyers what this does is that for the next several months we will get a lot easier time in hydra meaning that our clan mates don't have to um where do what do I need to do to get two star? Oh my god, that's a lot of work. Thirty minutes of game time and six battles. So, like, um, what you do when you switch the clan? If you switch to an inactive clan, is that you obviously get easier opponents again. And speaking from experience, ha having done this before, is that the opponents that we get are a lot easier now, like way easier. And the way that we do this, because this actually lasts for quite a long time, like obviously in normal CVC, you get matched with a clan that did the closest amount of points to you. Like let's say that rank 1 clan did 22 million points and you did 21 million points. If there was no other clan closer to that 22, then you guys are going to be matched against each other's next time. But that's not how it works in Hydra class. It's basically like a combination of I, I'm not sure if it lasts three or four Hydra classes but it's a combination of those and the average points so let's say that we start out with a fresh clan and now we do like 100 billion points this CVC we're not gonna have that level of opponent the next time and if you really want to get most out of this and actually get as much Hydra rewards as you can with you know not as much effort that you otherwise would have to do it or not much spending and RNG and effort and everything 
you do this, you switch to new clan, and then you basically do as little points as possible for the longest amount of time. Just like people do in normal CVC. Like, let's say that your enemy is doing only like 2 million points, and you only need like 5 million points to get 2-1, and you decide if you want to go for 3-0 or 2-1, or what kind of deal are you making with them. Maybe you have to go for 1-2. You kind of decide from the enemy clan what what level of points you're gonna do. That's you need to use the same mentality in the Hydra class. But the way that we work this is that we do as little points and then we progressively go up. That at the start we were um, telling people to only do maximum of 650 million points to get the, the best rewards. Now we increase it to 1.2 billion because of the uh, the chest that we get these days. Did, did I al already take the brutal? This always bugs out. Yeah, I already got this. Now we're basically telling people to do maximum of 1.2 billion for a while. And this will take a while. This will take like month or more than that for us to actually need to do more points than that. And when we do need to Wait, do I have the invitation or not? Oh, there you go. There, now, now I'm also switching on my own account. And as you can see, we have people hopping there. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, so when you do need more points, then we progressively start doing more and more points. And we kind of adjust our points to the... Um, to the amount that we need in order to win. And obviously, we are not mandating Hydra points. People are not forced to manual key double Tranda in my clan. Meaning it's a lot more chill and people can be people and the, <laughs> the clan requirement is not the Hydra champions or effort in it. It makes it a lot more chill for everybody, by the way. That's the good part about this. <laughs> I was kind of talking about the practical terms, how you do this and how it works. But the best part about this is that you don't have to put a lot of effort for your clan and you guys can just chill out and do what you're into. Maybe there's like somebody in your friend group that can do way more points than the other people. Maybe they will not or maybe you guys will not feel as bad about doing less points than him or other way around if you do this. But we progressively do higher points and we have a couple players that can actually do a lot of points and those people will step up, but we're trying to minimize the effort that individual people need to take in clan for the Hydra. And those people will have to step up as little as possible with this method. And like I said, we're still getting the rewards. I'm getting more, more reaction accessories than I was in MAD. And that was even before we started getting the extra, extra chests from Hydra. Now, some of the practical things how this works, you obviously need two clans. And now with normal sieges, basically every other week, every other week you have sieges and every other week, week we have um, normal CVC. And sadly, you will have to skip out on one of those. So one of them is going to like be at the same time and you're just going to have to sacrifice it. For us, it's definitely normal CVC. Our clan members are much more into sieges because, you know, it's PvP content. And at this point, the reaction rewards are not that big deal. And even if it was big deal, it obviously is worth it because you only do this once every two or three months. And then you ensure that you win every single higher class for that time. Basically, I think in the entire time that we had in the clan, we have won every time, except one time we came second, and that was just two weeks ago. And we were basically supposed to do a clan hop two weeks ago, but there were some complications and we decided to prolong it. <laughs> and we only lost by like a hair's margin, and we, we totally could have done more points. We, we didn't expect them to do that much points, but basically we win every time. I think only one time we got second, and never have we missed out on the top three rewards. Obviously, not all of the clans, even though we're not the top clan in Hydra, we can still do a good amount of points in it. And maybe your clan can do as 
much that we can do, but you can adjust this to your own level and you know, maybe maybe you can only do this two months and then you need to hop clan or something like that. For us the magic number seems to be three months, but some of the practical elements here, this is what makes it a little bit tricky. So every other week we have normal CVC, every other week you have sieges, so you will need to skip on one of those in order to do this. And there's, there's basically only a two hour time window, so this will require a good amount of coordination in your clan. And things can go wrong, maybe some, some person will miss this out if they're not able to be on time. Th that's, why I, that's why I just did this on, on that other account, because he wasn't able to be online, obviously. But um, you have two hour time window in between... Um, like the Hydra class ends before the normal, before you get the normal Hydra rewards. And when you finally get the normal Hydra rewards, you have like two hours or one hour time. I think it can depend on your clan and RNG, but one or two hours of time. And everybody needs to switch the clan in that time to make it into the new clan. And then you will be able to be eligible for the next week. Now, as you can see, we only have 17 stars out of 50, so we're not going to be eligible this week. And this was actually some miscommunication from our part. This can totally be avoided and we didn't have this issue last time. I thought we had enough stars, but I guess we had it last week, but not this week. And that was, that was kind of a mishap because we had multiple people on their alt accounts that were willing to contribute points. I thought we didn't need more points, but I guess we did need it. But basically, you need to have two clans, and there's actually a method where you can acquire clans if you don't have multiple clans. Now, if you're an old clan, if you're part of a big cluster, probably you guys have a couple extra old clans that you're just collecting and <laughs> saving for something. But even if you don't have a clan, actually there's a very easy method to acquire, even quite high level high level clans like the other clan that we were just in um i think that one was uh is it now level 16 but i think it was level 15 when we got it and can we find it yeah so, so the clan that we just hopped into that that's our original clan <laughs> the other clan was a, a clan that we just commandeered and basically you can just join a random dead inactive clan and you can get the leadership of it and then take it <laughs> take that clan to yourself and as you can see both of our clans are level 16 i think the other one was gifted to us by um maybe i remember wrong i think we either got it from oc cluster or we got it from one of the individual people that i know in oc but we got it from someone and then the second clan was just commandeered also by somebody else for us from one of those inactive clans and you can just join them on your alt account and if there's no if the clan is inactive you can just take control of it and <laughs> then you can use it for whatever you need so even if you don't have an extra clan to do this then that's how you can repurpose a clan that is not used and make do of that now apart from like procuring the second clan, you should also do the 50 activity points to be eligible on that week for class, which we failed this time. But this is also doable if you have a couple alt accounts that do this. This will require a little bit co coordination and this might seem a hassle, but keep in mind that if you do this, then you don't have to manual hide the keys for a couple months. And apart from people having to spend a lot less time on that, you also get kind of the peace of mind in your clan. You don't have to worry about how much points people do and you don't have to complain about it or recruit people only based on their Hydra performance. And you can just be with the people that you want to play with and you can still make the most out of Hydra. Basically, this is meant to be a guide because I want more people to do this. I think Normal CVC and Hydra class, you get rewards, but I think in a sense they're kind of bad for the game, or specifically the clans and 
you know, the um, like the friendships and the clan groups, it creates a lot of drama. And in that sense, it can be a little bit bad for the clan scene oftentimes. And if you do this clan hopping, then you can basically avoid this drama and try to make it very chill for everybody and still get your rewards so that you can have a clan with both hardcore players and more casual players and it's not going to be issue and you can just be with your friends or whoever you want to. Now, uh, what else did I mean to say? Oh yeah, so I haven't made a guide about this or a specific video before, but I have mentioned it a couple of times in streams, and but not, not in detail like this. I wanted to get out everything and I hope I didn't forget one part of this. But one thing that people often bring up to me, there's always like, not, not maybe often is not the right word, but every time I talk about it, there's like one comment about this. And basically they're saying that, dude, that's, that's cheating. You're making the game bad for everybody and you're not doing Hydra CVC the normal, honorable way. Well, here's my counter argument why that, I don't think that point is really like, stands like, stands the test of, you know, like practice. And it's, I don't think it's a good point. And maybe this will make yourself feel more good about it and not actually do it in practice and not be discouraged. But first of all, in normal CVC, everybody does this. Like, like I mentioned before, let's say that you can't win, then you do low po points on purpose, specifically what we're doing here, the exact same thing. You do low points on purpose so that you can win next time. Or maybe you make a deal with the enemy clan that you both agree that you get 1-2 one, two, or 2-1. Two, one. One, of, one of you does a little bit less points than the other one, but both of you do low points on purpose that both clans can win next time. Literally everybody is doing this every time. So don't give me that BS that us doing this on Hydra class is a little bit different. The main thing is that it's not very common knowledge that you can actually do this on Hydra. And it requires a little bit more effort, but it's still a lot less effort than 30 members manualing Hydra keys for several months in a row. So take that into practice. Like I'm personally, I'm only autoing my Hydra keys. I don't manual them. I think most people in our clan do that. I think there's like a couple members that like to do a lot of points when we need it and they they do manual keys sometimes. I appreciate it, but we're not trying to force them to do it. But yeah, it's a lot more chill. Let's put it that way. And of course, you could also argue that, you know, spending money or playing the game for a long time or having good RNG with champions or gear, you could argue that all of that is cheating. None of that is cheating. And I would rather play smart than play stupid. And if you don't do this clan hop thing, then you're kind of making it harder for yourself. Now it's up to you if you, if your clan is able to pull it off or if you dislike this, but I think you probably should do this. And I think the benefits heavily outweigh the potential downsides that you might feel bad about doing this. But I wouldn't feel bad because literally every single clan is doing this on normal CBC and it's the exact same thing. We have this saying in Finland, I don't know if you use the same one in English speaking word, world, but it's something like from, from, a, from a dumb head your entire body suffers. And I think that's basically what we're happening here. That, well, most people don't know about this. I'm not saying that you're being stupid on purpose, but if your argument is that um, you feel like this is dishonorable, it really is not. And everybody, and probably yourself included, is doing the same thing in normal CVC. So don't feel bad about it. Do this. I think your clan will love it. You will get more rewards. You guys will have more fun time and you don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to, you know, get depressed by doing 10 hour Hydra keys every week. That's pretty much it. It was supposed to be a 10 minute video, but there was a lot of things to cover and I kind of ran it a little bit. So I'm not going to keep you longer than that. I know I was kind of inactive for the last few weeks. It's not the first time that I do this, but 
nothing happened. I was kind of tuning out from raid a little bit and, you know, <laughs> chilling. Exactly the same reason that we're doing this clan hopping. I don't want the game to be too cumbersome. I have played this game for five years and I'm still playing, so it's not like I don't like the game, but sometimes raid can be too much, it can be time consuming, it can be frustrating that you don't make any progress in your account, possibly for years, and this clan hopping will definitely alleviate that a little bit. Not only will you have to put a lot less effort on Hydra, but you will also get more rewards, so it's insanely good. I can't stress it more. I can't stre stress this part enough. I'm literally getting more, more Hydra accessories than I was in Mad. So think about that. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you have any additional questions, then hit me up in comments or DM me in Discord. But that's all I had to say. Have a nice day and see ya.